going on people welcome back to the channel welcome to another day of flipping cheap cars for big profits guess what guys today's thursday we are dropping off the citroen c1 today and um yeah i ordered some center caps because we had two missing center caps they was meant to turn up on friday i messaged the guy on ebay to say can you please send them like next day delivery or something i'll pay extra i had no response from the guy whatsoever however them center caps have turned up today just in time before I dropped off. I actually drove down the road and uh, I was on my way, but I actually forgot the logbook and a few paper, a few bits of paperwork and stuff. So I turned back to come back home and guess what? The package was there. So it was all, God is on my side today. Literally, God is watching over me. So I appreciate that. Thank you for that blessing and always do good for people because goodness comes back to you, especially in times when you need it. So a little update on the car. I basically purchased a bumper Put the bumper on the car didn't seem to fit right and uh you will see that bit right about now right guys we've got the bumper off we've got all the broken clips etc i've just realized which is really frustrating that these clip into like um you know like sort of clips or brackets or something whatever you want to call these you know we've got one on this side here which is not going to be a problem and we don't have one on this side here uh, another little tip that I've got for you guys as well is, you know, when these things are stuck, this has not been open for ages. I want to just check the oil. When they're actually stuck, you don't want to get a pliers and damage the plastic. Me, right, you. you grab this here, you grab your pliers upside down, you put it in there like that and you push it down and you give it a twist and that actually opens it without damaging it. I just taught myself that right now. Right, guys, we've come up with a little problem. Um, this bonnet here, wait one second, I'll show you. Right, this bonnet here doesn't seem to want to line up with this wing here um, it seems like it's all perfect when it comes to this line here so I'm not actually sure if you know that wing looks a bit you can see it's got sort of like a, a bow to it like a bow or something it's kind of like this one here is sort of like straight so I don't know if that wing is just out of place but this side here seems to be you know seems to be all right you know but what I'm gonna do is I will I'm not too sure what I'm going to do really, but it does look like it's quite, I don't know. It looks okay. It looks like all the lines match. It looks like when it goes down, it would sit properly nice there. It's just this side that's really out of place. So I'm not sure if maybe I need to just adjust this wing or potentially replace it because this headlight actually holds onto that there and it was a little bit out as well. So potentially replacing that wing might um, solve all the problems that we have so i might have a look online the wings are quite cheap anyways and i will give it a go or just take it to the body shop and uh, see what he says but quite guided after doing all the work i did just wasted a whole afternoon driving up and down thinking to get this car sorted as well so I decided to take the car to the body shop, get him to straighten everything up. It's a cat end, guys, so there's no way that this car should be bent or out of shape. It was just needed a little fettling, a little adjustment, and uh, the guy sort of got it done. I purchased a non-OEM bumper. It said it was insurance approved, apparently. But the guy at the body shop, after painting it and doing all the work, said it didn't fit. Let's have a look exactly how this car is looking now. That he's done all the work, and... Um, yeah let's try and get this car cleaned up today and listed for sale today so stay tuned hope you guys enjoy the content don't forget to like share and subscribe let's have a look at this car i mean i think a bird is laying put made a nest on someone's car looks like it's been here for ages because of all the bird shit but yeah there's a nest on it crazy anyways moving back to the c1 right guys this is what the bumper is looking like this is what the car is looking like, shall I say. So if you look at over here, I mean, the bumper does seem to line up quite well, but it's just, um, it's not clipped in properly over there. And on this side here, was, it's the same thing and it's not clipped in properly over there. However, the bumper does fit, as you can see, it's been painted. I do have a new Citroen badge, which I'll put on once the car is cleaned. The number plate is in the window, as you can see. Uh, I will put the, put it on um in a minute actually and um the car itself tires all around are, are great on it you can tell just i mean that just needs a good clean and i'm going to pay them a fiver to do this car it's normally a tenner inside and out but i'm going to be paying a fiver just to do the outside because 
the inside of the car is going to need um the seats are going to need to be shampoo washed and all that kind of stuff so yeah if you remember we did have all that mold and shit in the back so that's going to need cleaning up We need to sort this little corner bit out. Tires and everything is all good all round. Yeah, other than that, she's good. Let me get this number plate fitted on there and I'll continue the video. Right guys, as you can see, number plate is on. She's looking good. All that's left to do is fit the Citroen badge on the front and paint the wing mirrors actually. We need to paint the wing mirrors, touch up around the car, but let's go and get it clean first. Right guys, I'm at my local car wash spot um they do a good job five pound outside five pound inside i'm only getting that outside done as mentioned let's have a look how clean they do right, guys as you can see they even do a foam wash as well you know what i mean they do this foam shampoo all good in the hood man let's just hope this car comes out nice because it's been sitting fingers crossed it does right guys today is a lucky day we are actually going to drop off the Citroen C1, and guess what's come through the post? They was meant to be here on Friday or Saturday. Today is Thursday, and the guy I messaged the guy to see if he can get them shipped to me as soon as possible. No response from him, but he came through, and the wheel caps, the center caps, are here. So we are pretty lucky, guys. That car is going to be looking a lot better. Once it's cleaned, I'm going to stick these on. We're on our way to get the car cleaned. Then I'm going to put these bad boys on, and then we're going to go there with a bad boy looking car stay tuned right guys that is what she's looking like now and those are the original ones the guy came through so we got some caps so let's get these caps stuck on the car there go and get it cleaned and head off that's what she's looking like and i think it looks pretty good goes really well with the silver wheels could do with the refurb but i did say this is how the car's been sold and they are the original so what i need to do now is get that car jacked up pop them original ones off because you know never know when i need another set or potentially put them on ebay as original ones for 10 quid or something like that make some money back um stay tuned let's get that wheel take not going too well i got this out the boot and you can just tell how rounded off that is it doesn't even hold onto the bolt so i'm gonna have to see if i can go to a tire shop get them to pop you or give them a five or a ten or something like that you know not good and just get the center caps off and um head off because it's getting late now so let's get a move on guys Right guys, as you see, we've got the rear wheels taken off just to change the center caps. Um, getting, the, getting the car cleaned inside and out as well. Um, stay tuned, once this car is cleaned, I'll get them center caps off the head. Right guys, as you can see, she's driving at 70 really well. She's happy, RPMs. Only thing I can say that I've noticed on the car that I will need to tell the customer is it's got a slight noise, noisy rear wheel bearing. I can tell it's coming from the rear passenger side so i will tell them if they don't want the car guys then i will give them a full refund including the delivery charge um it is what it is and uh never mind because the car is in such a good shape now that i feel like when i go home now they're so clean and everything i'm going to put it out for a little bit more so stay tuned guys i'll continue the video when i get there right guys it's been a long ass journey about three hours journey i've been driving here because there's been traffic and stuff like that we're here now anyways let me just get out of the car do a quick little walk around just so you guys see what the car looked like just before it gets dropped off if they buy it let's look at her she's looking good man nice and clean the center caps are looking legit and um interior i'm pretty happy with you guys i'm pretty happy with it the only thing that lets it down is this here other than that it's all right yeah pretty happy with it pretty happy with it anyways let's go drop this car off fingers crossed fingers crossed to take it guys wish me luck guys we've sold three cars in three days it doesn't get better than that for me mate uh i think i'm catching up with chops no i'm just just kidding i'm just kidding uh, i'm really happy as you can see by the, the look on my face big smile and all that i think what i'm gonna do now is go and get a pizza for my kids uh two girls by the way nightmare but i love them to bits so let's go and get a pizza for the girls <laughs> 